The car companies fear extinction, but in the land of big trucks and SUVs, there's a little brand bucking the trend. The smart car. Sales are up. Then again, they only started selling them here last year. Uh, I love my smart. Uh, here's a courtesy card. Native Detroiter Dave Shembry runs smart car operations in the U.S. Different. What we had going for us is we had a product that defined why it's different by its design. People have told me how good is it in mileage per gallon, so forth. But they say, well, I don't care. It's cute. They've had these cars in Europe for a decade now. A watch company started the concept. Change the color of your door panel like you'd replace your wristband. Express yourself, your personality with your car. The S stands for Swatch, the M for Mercedes, and the rest uh, describes the design of the vehicle, which is art. <laughs> Kristen Endeman bought her Smart as soon as she could get one here. To me, it's not really a, I don't see it as a car now. It's, it's an art object. That's because she commissioned an artist from renowned Cranbrook Academy to use her car as his canvas. My husband had the idea to put it in the, in the living room as an art. We collect art, so he wanted to put it in the, in the house as a, as a sculpture. They've built this the car for the creative class, but for others it's all business. At Jack Ripper and Associates, they're dressing smarts in promotional shrink wrap. Dan Ripper is the lead rapper. Company, it's advertising on wheels. Advertise 24-7 for him. Moving billboard. In the back. It's just another blank canvas that needs to be covered. Brian Clerks is the rapper's assistant. See if you see the same car every day, you're not going to really look at it, but being a smart car, you don't see a lot of them on the road, so it's going to draw your attention, just being a smart car. Rebecca Henze saw the light and joined the smart marketing game. One of my main considerations when I got the car, if my hockey bag didn't fit in it, I wasn't going to get it. <laughs> so I took my hockey bag and made sure it fit, and it fits. It's like a perfect fit. Rebecca's always on the move. Hockey's only part of it. She runs a chain of child care centers, driving constantly. The gas mileage was the first interest, and then advertising, I wanted to see how could I offset the cost. This one, because it's got the package that it has with it, I believe out the door was 22000 which was pretty steep for me. But I figured if Sunny Skies Child Care bought it, they could utilize it and put our name on it, and it would certainly produce what I'm looking for, which is something special to look at. I was on, the phone on the other I side of town, Mariella Romero just got her car back from the wrappers. We promote green, clean, free energy, solar power, wind power, geothermal. The reason of having this car is because we have to walk our talk. We need to be the role model. <laughs> She's mild. Most of the cars in, in South America, Argentina, where I was born, are small cars. So I like small cars. The signage is supposed to boost the business, but people still want to talk more about Mariella's car than her energy company. It's very cramped. I understand the concept, but I don't think you would catch me on the freeway with this, especially with the fact that if there's an Explorer or diesel next to me, I'd feel like I would be sucked up in there. Their wind. I think that the reaction of the man is the safety. They want a big truck, manly thing, you know. You don't want to drive a two-seater that is for women. Men do buy these cars. Nick Haragos did. I wasn't a small car freak. I, I just, uh, this one particular time, I decided to go for it. We do uh, laser cutting steel for uh, assembly lines, automotive, just about anything that we can cut with a laser. Countless backyard machine shops carry on throughout the Motor City. In this one, Nick and his friend Matt Besh are turning their smart car into a supercharged speed machine. You know, in a month or two, Nick will be able to pull up next to a Corvette and the guy won't even look twice and then Nick's just going to blow his doors off and the guy's going to say, oh my God, what just happened? All right, ease up. Here now, the really boss, gas-guzzling smart easy. car. Hang on, you're almost there. It seems these guys are out to create their own work of art. Detroit style. 